Hello everyone and welcome by EA's art channel. My name is Ilkan Wiersma and today I'm going to show you this, uh, how I made this drawing. And first of all I know it has been a long time, I've been uh, very busy, but here and there I uh, had some time over to uh, do a little bit of artwork, but a bit a little less than normal. Uh, well actually in the summer I don't have that much time to art uh, anyways, but uh, in the winter I upload uh, a quite a few more tutorials normally. So. Um, those days will come again, but for today I uh, like to talk about uh, this uh, this painting, uh, this pastel painting. And uh, before I'm going to show you the process, I would like to go over uh, very quickly with the materials I've used. First of all, the paper is the uh, Claire uh, Fontaine pastel matte paper. It's a very nice paper, and uh, at this time it's uh, it's absolutely my favorite paint. Uh, paper to use for uh, for pastels. It takes it very well and especially the different layers. So it uh, works uh, very beautifully uh, for um, layering with your uh, pastels. So going over the uh, materials, I have them here uh, uh, next to me, next to the easel. First of all I have uh, quite a lot of uh, different pencils as you can see and um, uh, different colors that I, uh, that I quite often use obviously. And um, yeah, they work really well. I have some uh, different uh, brands uh, of pastel pencils. And also the sticks. I have them separately in uh, different uh, containers, so it's a little bit easier to find the right color. I also have these little tiny ones. These are very easy uh, to make lines. These are, these are a little bit harder. The, most of them uh, of my sticks are uh, soft pastel. I really like the soft ones. But uh, once in a while I have to make some uh, little teeny tiny details for example or whiskers. I like to use these uh, little um, harder pastel sticks. So and then we go over to the other side of my easel and there I have my pastel, uh, uh, sorry, my pen pastels. And as you can see I have the full set quite a lot of colors and I, I really love them. They are beautiful, beautiful colors. They last quite a long time but I have to admit my black, I use quite a lot of black apparently. <laughs> that one I can see the, the bottom now but it's the first one. And this uh, piece of paper I use to uh, co uh, cover up the drawing as you uh, will see in the tutorial. I can uh, rest my hand on it so I don't have directly on it pastels. For the pen pastels I like to use these um, applicators with those little sponges so I can take the pastel and put it on uh, onto the paper. You have different shapes of them and that's obviously very handy for different uh, textures and that kind of stuff. For the larger uh, areas I use sponges and I have some makeup sponges I like to use uh, sometimes not not that very often but I uh, sometimes they are very handy and I have the neck sponges when I go out or when they are getting too dark or too, uh, yeah, basically um, they break off because of the, the structure of the paper I uh, can re uh, easily replace them with these guys and I have some more in here as well. So that are my materials for, um, for this drawing. So let's start the tutorial and I will see you afterwards.
all, I hope you liked the process. If you have any questions, please uh, please leave, uh, let me know in the uh, comment section below. Uh, I do my tutorials sometimes a little bit different. I'm just trying out things. So if you don't like the music, you prefer a voiceover or vice versa, please let me know. I, li I really like to know what uh, people like to watch and if it's uh, useful for, to, uh, for you guys. And I thought it would be nice to get a little bit close up of the details. This is the little plant I was uh, making. And I really love the colors of the light here. Very softly and once again that's why the paper is so useful because you can make different layers over uh, one another. And here are the deers. I really like the colors on, on them. The blues and the purples. I really, really love it. And those little butterflies. And I really the light, almost that halo effect around the deers. I personally really like. So, uh, once again, I hope you liked this tutorial. Please uh, let me know. And if you didn't already have, please subscribe to my channel. I try to post as often as I can. Like I said in the intro, in summertime it's a little uh, less than in winter. Because in winter time I just have more time to make art. So that's for now. And I hope to see you at one of my next tutorials. Bye-bye.